It's a lovely afternoon in the great state of Florida, and I'm enjoying the weather from within the peaceful confines of Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Martin County. This park, well over 11,000 acres in size, is home to a mixture of natural beauty, including sand pine scrub forest, coastal sand hills, mangroves, pine flatwoods, and river swamps, to name a few. It also happens to contain some interesting locations to view action on the Florida East Coast Railway mainline. I spent the duration of my visit at the grade crossing at Park Road, where I was treated to scores of Brightline passenger trains and one freight train. Right off the bat, there was a clear signal lit for a northbound. That was a Brightline train hurrying along on its journey from Miami north to Orlando. Brightline is the only privately owned and operated inner city passenger service in the United States. From south to north, Brightline's stations are Miami Central with a connection to Tri-Rail, Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, West Palm Beach, and then Orlando at Orlando International Airport. The locomotives are Siemens chargers, designated as SCB-40. The passenger cars form complete Siemens Venture train sets. The trains seen in this video are planned to grow in length in the future. My primary hope for this afternoon was to catch a freight train. My sister and I had started the day doing a cage-free dive with bull sharks offshore of Jupiter, and I wasn't quite sure if a few hours on the second half of a Saturday would yield any freight trains. I was content to relax in the quiet beauty of untouched Florida open space and just enjoy what happened to pass through. But luck was on my side as northbound Florida East Coast Railway train number 903 appeared on the horizon. This West Palm Beach to Fort Pierce round-trip freight is powered by GP38-2 number 508, which still wears the classic hurricane blue paint scheme. I read on an online forum that the original, official name for it was the Going Places in Florida scheme. With no radio scanner or information of any kind to aid in my endeavors, this was a true good old-fashioned surprise catch. If you're like me and enjoy nature trails, you can wander off from the High Iron and onto the White Loop Trail from right here at the Park Road grade crossing. This 7.5 mile long trail takes you north and west from this point and also serves as an access route to three backcountry campsites deeper in the park.
With the passing of that final Brightline train, it was time to celebrate a perfect day by heading down to Palm Beach Gardens for a delicious dinner at Voodoo Bayou. My sister had the wood-fired Creole mustard salmon, and I had one of my favorite meals, shrimp and grits. We each had a delicious N.A. cocktail, and I made sure to get a banana pudding to go. I'd have eaten the banana pudding right then and there, but my sister and I had each put away a whole loaf of their famous cornbread in addition to our dinner. So I had to wait, or I'd have self-destructed. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. It means a lot to me that you gave it a watch, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching Trainer Productions.